Sonia and today Elena, my daughter, is joining us today and we're going to show you how to make some easy and fun marble cookies. Elena is the cookie queen in the house. She makes more cookies and has practiced a lot, tried a lot of recipes, so she's going to show us some of her tricks today so they will come out perfect every time. Are you ready? Boom. Okay, Boom. let's start. We're ready. We are starting out with two sticks of butter or one cup, and we are just going to cream this all together. It is best if you leave your butter out on the counter ahead of time, like an hour or so, so that it's easier to cream. Then we're adding in one cup of sugar, and then we are gonna add in one teaspoon of your favorite vanilla. Then we are going to be adding in one eighth of a teaspoon of salt and one egg. And then we are just going to mix this all up and cream it all together. Once it's all mixed together, then we are gonna slowly start adding in our flour. We are going to be adding in three cups of all-purpose flour. Now you guys, when this mixes together, it gets extremely crumbly and you're gonna think this is never gonna make a ball of dough, but it really does. I wanna say it was a little bit harder on this evening that we made it. It's been extremely cold here and I think we're used to our kitchen being just a little bit warmer. Also, the granite was definitely not as warm as it normally is. My daughter tried to push this together out on the granite and realized it was giving her a really hard time coming together. Also, her hands are a little bit smaller than mine, so I went in there after she tried to push it all together and really worked it and pushed it together. It is gonna take a little bit of effort in this dough, but once it's together, it really works, and this dough is perfect because it doesn't lose its shape when you bake it. After it's all together, you're gonna put it into the refrigerator for about two to three hours. We have left ours in a little bit longer because we're busy that day as my husband was home. So I asked him to use some of those big strong muscles and roll it out for us. If not, I could have just let it sit there for a while and let it warm up just a little bit more because we had forgotten about it, maybe left it a little bit long. But I wanted to show you, regardless of how you do it, my husband was still worked it into a good dough. And it, if you did it our way, it's gonna take a little bit of muscle. So then you're gonna go ahead and use your cookie cutters and go ahead and push them in any cutters that you like. We did like a whole different mix of them. We did some Hanukkah, we did some Christmas, we did some bears, you name it, we did it. So just pick out your favorite ones, whatever you wanna use is fine. And I wanna say that this made about, I don't know, like one and a half to two trays of cookies. After I did, um, cut these all out. I want to let you know that I did pop the whole tray back into my fridge just for a few months, probably for about 15. I wanted to show you after I cut it out. That's how much is left. So you really do get to make almost two full trays. You're going to preheat your oven to 350. You're going to take your cookies that have cooled off in the fridge for about 15 minutes throw them into your oven, and let them cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. When you turn them over, it'll be just a drop golden on the bottom. Now we're gonna work on that fun part. We're gonna work on the decorations. You're gonna need some confectioner sugar. We are going to be using three cups of confectioner sugar. And you're gonna need some meringue powder. This is what actually hardens the royal icing. You can buy them Michael's, Wilton makes one. You can buy them, a lot of Walmarts have them nowadays. A lot of places have them. I happen to order this one online on Amazon. So you're gonna need two tablespoons of your meringue powder. And we started with about a quarter of a cup of water. I just slowly added it into this. And then we probably added in, I don't know, probably, I don't know, about a tablespoon more. And you wanna kinda like work it in slowly so you can get it into a thing. I actually thought it was gonna be right at a fourth of a cup, but it needed just a little bit more. You could also add in, and after your quarter cup, if you wanted to, just add in like one tablespoon of vanilla if you have a clear vanilla. I happen to be out this day, or I probably would've added it in to give it a little bit more flavor, because remember, if you add a brown one, it's gonna change the color of your royal icing. Now, to do the swirly effect, you're gonna need something flat, either a plate. I happen to have this like fun um, plate that was actually extremely flat, so I thought it was a perfect thing. We are going to be using a gel food coloring to show you on the first one. 
but you can just use the food coloring that comes in like the cheap ones that come you know like in the little plastic bottles you can get in your baking section I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second so basically all you do is you are going to use a toothpick you can probably use the, the end of a fork or a knife put in just a little bit and I mean a little bit of food coloring whether you use the gel or the other ones and then we're just gonna swirl it into your royal icing pull it out and believe it or not with the meringue powder that's it it dries it hardens and these cookies look gorgeous and they're super easy to do I think that's a fun thing so this is just using food color I wanted to show you out of one of those little plastic bottles out of the normal bakery section of your grocery store and you can do the exact same thing it works exactly the same we just happen to have a lot of gel food color for cookies there you go and they just look gorgeous and they are easy to do I know it's also fun to make royal icing and then really decorate your Christmas cookies too but I wanted to show you something that's easy that everyone can do that doesn't take a lot of skill even your kids could do this anybody could do this and you can just mix up all kinds of different colors and if you think like oh well that's not working the way it is add a little bit more of the royal icing give it a swirl work it in and then re-dip your cookies and these are just gorgeous I love the way they are and I love the way that these cookies actually taste I know there's some sugar cookies out there that are just like ugh. I mean they might keep their shape but they don't taste good we also have this this is an I love you hand in sign language it's an I love you because it's an I L and a Y put together and that's how it makes the I love you so here it is, all our cookies all together. They came out super pretty. I hope you guys give this a try. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up, follow or subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying this holiday time with your friends and family, and I will see you soon.